Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crafting Adventures with Amy. I'd like to welcome any new subscribers and welcome back to everyone who's coming back time and time again. Um, today, I want to talk about Warm Up America. I've been making sections for Warm Up, Warm Up America for quite a while. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about Warm Up America. I have a little bit of thing, a thing on my iPad here. And Warm Up America was founded in 1991 by someone named Evie, E-V-I-E. -E. Is that Evie or Evie? And her last name was Rosen. Um, she owned a yarn shop in Wausau, Wisconsin, and enjoyed making blankets for the homeless. After working to meet this need, she found she couldn't fulfill the need fast enough. Her vision was to provide an innovative way um, for donated 7 by 9 knitted and crocheted sections to be joined together to make finished blankets. This seed of an idea has blossomed over the years into a national program that has provided comfort to and warmth to thousands of people during their most difficult times. Earning Rosen recognition by the t by Time, T-I-M-E, magazine, and endorsements by Oprah Winfrey and Vanna White. Over 1 million items have been donated by 30,000 volunteers since 1991. Warm Up America touches our core, uh, touches us at our core, in a time where we're all looking for things that are meaningful. There aren't many things that move people so deeply, whether you are the giver or the receiver. It's even more meaningful knowing these blankets arrive in the, in the arms of individuals who are experiencing some of the lowest points in their lives. Now, Warm Up America distributes blankets um, from baby blankets to lap blankets to child size blankets um, and adult blankets. They also, we also can make and donate hats and scarves and mittens and shawls. Um, there's a lot of information, a lot of things that we can crochet or knit and donate to them. We do have to use acrylic yarn because we don't want any wool or anything in case someone has an allergy to it. Um, Warm Up America does have a website. They have a Facebook page. Um, I don't remember if they have a YouTube channel or not. So I'll put their information down below. There's two, two kind of things for Warm Up America. I don't want to say two people, but there's two different things. You can be a, well, maybe three. You can be a section maker which you make seven by nine inch. So it's like a rectangle section. They have to be as close to seven by nine as you can get them. Um, so that's a, make, that's a maker. If you just make these sections and donate them, you're considered a maker. Now you can be a joiner, and that's someone who joins all these sections together um, to make a blanket. Then there's also, you can be both. You can be a maker and a joiner. I've normally just been a maker. I've made just the sections. A little while ago, um, Warm Up America had a big, um, I don't know what you call it, a big, hmm, <laughs> I didn't think of the word, but a, a campaign, there we go, a big campaign to bring in a certain amount, a certain number of sections. So they had a ton of them come in. So then after that, they did reach out and say, hey, we've got a lot of these sections, which they're very happy about. Um, does anyone want to be a joiner? Um, or is can anybody join sections for us? So I did reach out to them. Now to be a joiner, you do have to, or they would appreciate um, a $40 donation, which basically covers shipping the sections to you. Um, now, if you can't 
do the $40 donation, you can reach out to them too. And some people do like fairy donations where maybe they just have some extra, you know, extra funds or whatever, and they just want to donate the money and that will help pay for sections to go to people. Um, so I reached out to them and they do boxes of 500 sections. It's a lot, it's a lot of sections. And they, they, they put them together in a box and then you pay, send $40. I donated more than 40 um, because I had the money to do so at the time. And so I donate, made a domain, donation and then sent them my mailing address and I got a box of 500 sections. Now here's just kind of an example. I mean, I'm gonna put a picture in here as well because I did take a picture of the sections on my table here. But I mean, this is just a stack of, see how some of them are the same, they go together. These ones aren't quite seven by nine. So I'm just gonna add like a row around them to make them the seven by nine and then join them together. But you get all different, um, all different ones, different stitches. Some are solid stitches, um, different, just, just a little bit of everything. People have a little bit of yarn left over. Some are multicolored. Um, some start with like this one, start with one color of yarn and then they went on to another color to finish it off. Maybe they just had a little bit of the orange left. So it just, it's just whatever people are able to do or can do or want to do with their yarn that they have. So I just wanted to share, I did make, in in my box of sections, I did get a ton, a ton, a bunch of them that were all the same pattern. And it's with this yarn, uh, different colors of this yarn. And I, I think you can see it there. It's, you know, like sparkly yarn. It's got the strand of metallic that goes through it. And so I took as many of them as I needed to make a lap blanket and I made made a lap blanket. So this just kind of shows, this is half of it. And then if I flip it over and you'll just see the other half. So yeah, so that's a, that's a lap blanket that I made. And what they do is Warm Up America also includes one um, full skein of yarn to help with joining them. Now you don't have to use that yarn to join them. You can use whatever you have, but they always send a skein of yarn in case someone can join sections, but maybe doesn't have the yarn to do it. So I think that's what they do use some of the money, donated money for too. Um, it is to purchase, you know, full skeins of yarn to be able to send with. Now they sent with white yarn. So I did use that to join mine. And then I used a gray of my, out of my own stash just to do a simple, um, it's like the crab stitch uh, border on this blanket. So just a simple border to go on that one. Now I am making another one. It's really big. <laughs> I can't. I can't show you the whole blanket because it is really big. It's all over on a table here, but I can just show you kind of what I've got ends on it that I haven't sewn in, but it's just a bunch of different blues. So, I mean, there's like this section is a, with a variegated and then they use something else and then more of the variegated and there's just dark blues and light blues. And here's a variegated blue. I don't know if you can hear me be talking behind that. But it's just a ton of different blues and I found all them blues. So I thought I'm, I can make a big blanket, but just the blues. Um, so this one is all different colors of blue and this is a big adult size blanket. They do have suggestions on what sizes to make the blankets. But if you find an organization that needs a blanket of a different size, bigger or smaller, you can use the sections for that too. When you make blankets, you can send them back to Warm Up America and they'll distribute them to people who are requesting blankets. And when you do it that way, they do have suggest suggested sizes, like you can use so many sections to make a uh, lap blanket, a baby blanket, a child blanket. 
they do have all that information available. And then, um, or you can make a blanket and you can donate it locally or anywhere. If you find an organization somewhere else that needs blankets, you can do that as well. You don't have to bring, send them back to Warm Up America. Once they send the sections to you, you can do with, donate them. I don't say do with, because you're not allowed to sell. You can't make these blankets and sell them because um, that's just not right. You're not, you're not supposed to make any money off of this. You're supposed to be donating these items. Ooh, shook the table. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm doing with my sections from Warm Up America. And I'll put at the end of the video here, I'll put a picture of the, um, the sections out on the table and it shows a skein of yarn. They send a little paper, um, information paperwork with as well. So I think that was it. I was going to talk about, um, oh, and when you make the sections, I just thought of this too. When you make the sections, you can either send them to Warm Up America or you can send them, I live in Minnesota and there might be an, a joiner in Minnesota that likes to join the section. So you can send them directly to that joiner and then you don't have to send them to Warm Up America for Warm Up America just to send them back. Um, now Warm Up America will only send out boxes of 500. They don't just send you can't send them to them and say, hey, can you send them to whomever? They send them out in boxes of 500. Um, now, when you send them to someone else, not to Warm Up America, to someone else, they have a form on their website, a donation form for you to, to fill out and send in because they count every section that's made. They keep track of those counts throughout the whole year. And then they do like a big report thing or, you know, they like to keep track of how many per year they're collecting. How many hats, how many sets of mittens, how many scarves, how many shawls, um, just everything, how many sections, everything that goes through the Warm Up America organization they keep track of. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> you know how you think of something else and then you just start on it again. So, but I think that's all I was going to say about Warm Up America. I've got a lot more sections to join. It'll it'll take me a while before I get them all done because I do, you know, I do work full time. I do in home child care full time. I don't get to come down to my yarny area very often um, to do stuff like this. So, I think, I guess that's it. Well, have a good, have a good weekend and enjoy your craft, whatever craft it is. See you next time. Bye, everyone.